I was a student at Jacob's Pillow in 94. I did the Horton program with Milton Myers. Carmen de Lavalade was there that year. I think I just gained so much strength that summer through that technique. I really kind of bonded with people, and then I think it was really impactful to be around all of the companies that were coming through. I think it's helped me just draw connections between all those different aspects of what it means to be a dancer and to be making work. It was a really special place to be a student. I remember speaking from the inside out stage and saying something really whimsical, like how the history was present in the trees and the earth and all the magic I felt here. I was so happy to be at the pillow. The next time I returned to Jacob's Pillow was when I was dancing with Doug Verone and we were performing in the Ted Sean Theater. And it was such a cool feeling being on that stage going, here I am now as a professional. When I came back with my company to perform Thank You For Coming Attendance last summer, it was really incredible. The space that we performed that work in, it was as if it had been built for that piece. We had never done that work before there, and I had never performed with my company there, but it felt like a homecoming for me. Often people will come up to me after a show and they'll say, I loved your play. I think this is because one of the primary concerns in my work is this problem of being somebody in a world of other somebodies. is a kind of irreverent mix of um, raw physicality, scene, state, image, text, song, and often use of prop. I am one who just needs to make, mm -hmm. and that this is the form that I think has felt the most. It feels like it's, um, it holds all these possibilities. It holds so many possibilities. And it, it, it's extremely stimulating because it's very, um, it's very unstable. The human body is always changing and always shifting. And so I think it continues to excite me and interest me and draw me in. Being in my body, being in my body with other humans, being in my body creating, making things live and in real time, and then inviting people into those spaces where they can get to have a bit of that in their own lives, I think is revolutionary. <laughs>